This week we were supposed to about, like, pick a theme, like some personal thing, and talk about it. So uh, I chose to speak about uh, being gay in Norway, and uh, I'll do that with. I'll I'll just start with some like basic historic facts from Norway. Okay, uh, in 1972, section 213 of the Penal Code which prohibited sexual acts between men, but not women, uh, was repealed. Because, uh, like, there was no, nothing, like, with women, because they apparently didn't have a uh, sexuality. Um, yeah, that's how they thought about it then, I guess. Um, but uh, this law was, like, last put in use in 1964. It was more like a tool for police to do some gay bashing and stuff, because it's illegal. Um, at that time, it was like in Oslo, it's a very small gay scene. It was very underground because it was illegal, obviously. And yeah, you know, people went to the public toilets and huck, hooked up there. And yeah, uh, it wasn't uh, a very decent place. And people got beaten up a lot. And yeah, but in 1972, that uh, that law was repealed, so it got legal. To, to be gay. Um, and in 1977, uh, the Norwegian Psychiatric Association uh, eliminated homosexuality as a psychiatric pathology. Uh, and in 1979, uh, the Norwegian Department of Defense gave gay and lesbian military staff full rights. Uh, in 1981, Norway became the first country in the world to enact a law to prevent discrimination against homosexuals. Uh, and in 1993, uh, we got a same-sex civil union. And from, right, couple, three months ago, 1st of January 2009, uh, Norway, as the sixth country in the world, um, Legalized same-sex marriage or gender gender neutral marriage uh, Married same-sex couples uh, are permitted to adopt under Norwegian law and stepchild adoption is allowed for couples uh, for lesbians artificial insemination is perfectly legal and is paid for by the state so uh, gay scene um, I can like in most of Norway, like the big cities, there's some pubs and bars you can hang out on. Uh, in Oslo, yeah, there's a couple of them, uh, a lot, but a lot of gay-friendly cafes too. But um, it's like more, more for for everybody, because um, because being gay does not like define you uh, as much as it did before. Because um, yeah people start to realize that being gay is just like uh, something about your preferences when it comes to like like sexuality and stuff and uh, that it stops there I guess but of course it's nice to have places to hang out with other people who are yeah into same-sex relationships yeah okay uh, when it comes to organizations um, like the big um, organization in Norway is called LH which is the National Association for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender People uh, and they're working politically and socially so that those who are gay uh, lesbian and bisexual can live openly without fear of being ostracized, discriminated, or harassed. Uh, and they have about 2,000 members. Uh, we're a small country. Uh, and we have a youth organization too called Shaibungdom or uh, Queer Youth. And I'm the leader of the Oslo section, actually. Uh, we work to create a safe uh, environment for like young gay people to to come out to and we were non-alcoholic like non uh yeah um 
we have a lot of events and um, like like bowling or renting movies or just hanging out or some political stuff or theme nights and we can just like meet other people who, who are kind of like you and understand that you're, you're not alone in this world when it comes to like having feelings for the same sex and uh, I think it's for me it was very like when I was 16 I first you know got into that um, place and it was very comforting I met a lot of really nice people and you know you yeah it's easier to feel confident about yourself then I think I I need that at least and uh, we also have a summer festival called uh, Yavnadir, which is Old Norse for likeverd, uh, also worth to be worth the same, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a Nordic queer youth festival, and it's actually open to the world. So uh, if you have maybe an organization where you live. Uh, and want to go there, uh, feel free to go. Um, you can probably like apply them for to cover some of the like the money costs and you can go in at uh, see that here, dot com uh, to check it out. Uh, I think there's uh, yeah there's information there in English too. So uh, I'm gonna be there. Maybe I'll see some of you guys there too and uh, yeah, it's it's really an awesome like summer festival. There's gonna be a lot of concerts, all like a couple of hundred people uh, or f new friends, and um, some like uh, people who are gonna talk, and you can like do lots of things. Like I'm gonna have a workshop uh, with film, and there's gonna be someone who has like sports and show and uh, oh, like defense and there's this lovely cafe there and you'll see Norway like in the summer which is lovely so I, I do recommend you to check that out because it's it's possible for you to get there um, so I guess that's enough for now and if you have any questions you can just write them down here and I'll try to answer it uh, so yeah, I just thought that it would be like maybe interesting for some of you t to uh, learn something about like gay life in, in Norway because yeah, as you can see, like I said, uh, we're very liberal to regard, uh, in regard of gay rights. So yeah, uh, I th hope that like the rest of the world is soon to follow and not go the other way around just like uh, U.S. just did with the Proposition 8 and California, blah, 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 which I'm going to in, oh, uh, one week now, on Saturday, it's one week until I'm going to San Francisco and Palo Alto, uh, so I'm really looking forward to that, and, um, I hope you're all doing well, and, uh, these are guys, nice videos, and, um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Um, I think we're just gonna leave it there and uh, I'll see you guys next week. And uh, the week after that, yeah, I'll be doing a vlog from USA. Crazy. And actually, uh, be sure to check out my channel because I'm gonna make like maybe a daily vlog thing for when I go to, to the United States, so that will be fun. And, uh, yeah, if there are other vloggers out there in, like, the San Francisco Palo Alto area, uh, send me a message. Maybe we'll do a cooperative vlog or something. That would be fun to meet uh, some people out there. So, okay. See ya. Bye.